Hey YouTubers, Steven here. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I know, long time no see, but uh, it's been a really busy fall. Um, so let's get to the meat of it. We can chat a little more later while we're uh, making this batch of beer. So I figured I was going to use a, a pale ale extract and I was just going to do a typical kitten kilo, you know, kilograms of dextrose. And then I started thinking, you know, geez, I got some hops that I haven't used yet. And I need to make a video. And let's do something different. So maybe throw in some dark malt extract uh, in with that. And maybe 500 grams of dextrose just to bump up the, uh, the octane, as my friend Greg says. But uh, in here I'm talking away and I haven't even had a drink of my beer. This is my pumpkin pale ale that I made. It's uh, it's pretty clear, you know, for the style. Uh, typically, the style is a little more cloudy. Um, little to no head out of the bottle. Um, the keg that wasn't a problem, but uh, I really wasn't going for a high carbonation, anyways. I think my serving temperature in or serving pressure in the keg was around five psi. Um, in around five six anyway, somewhere's about there. And I actually found it really good. So um, all grain version of my extract uh, was excellent, and um, I may post the the recipe online later. It may not work for other people who don't have um, a Sankey keg because I did something different with this. Um, I have I think I think it's six liters of water below where my my spigot is uh, so what I did I calculated that act that six liters into my boil extra so that once uh, my work chilled all the pumpkin puree would be at the bottom along with the hops and everything and then when uh, I drained it off into the fermenter all of that stayed in the bottom of my um, my kettle so and it paid off because it's very clear um, when I do that with an extract, my trub is about uh, about two and a half, maybe three inches, and you, I lose about twelve bottles because it's so, so thick. But right now, uh, I'm just heating up the water. I'm going to do a 15-minute uh, boil with my hops, and uh, these are cascades. I know it looks like a lot, but uh, the freezer wasn't very friendly to uh, to the hop buds, so. Uh, I'm going to use a hot bag so I don't get all of this in with the boil. Uh, this is uh, an ounce and a half. I weighed it and uh, throw this in the bag so that uh, it catches everything and then we'll mix that with our uh, malt extracts which are sitting in the sink in the hot water so uh, we'll be right back. Alright, water's to a boil. Uh, drop all the hops in here in my bag. Without making a mess everywhere. All right, success. Uh, unfortunately, there's some loop in still in the bag. I'm not sure if that's coming out on camera or not, but all right, I want to tie this off. there I had to turn the, the stove down I guess I should have used a bigger pot try and get all the hops in here I guess I really don't need to worry about the top of that bag I have it tied let's hit my fifth my timer all right let's let this go for 15 minutes and Hopefully our hop tea comes out nice. Alright, we're back. we got 30 seconds left on the boil. We're all ready to uh, get this show on the road. So, 
myself a pair of tongs so I don't burn myself when I pull this out. And my kettle for the extract is boiling. Let's get this off so I can get it strained. I'll tell you, some very nice hop aromas in this kitchen right now. Alright, there's the timer. So, what's Stephen been up to that made this fall so busy? Well, I'm on a new schedule at work. Right now, I've, well, I only have six shifts left before I go back on my 12 hour shifts, and I couldn't be happier. But for the better part of this fall, I've been working Monday to Friday, 8 to 4 30 every day. Hunting season's upon us. That leaves me Saturday to hunt, Sunday to do chores, run around, everything else that I couldn't do for the rest of the week. Which doesn't leave a whole lot of time to get a whole lot done. So, I've been trying to get everything done that I could. I finished the floor in the kitchen. And I'm glad I took a week off to do it. Because I'm not the fastest person for cutting things, you know, I like to try and get it right. And uh, so that took me the entire week, but at the same time, I didn't kill myself either trying to do it. Now this is just my local home brew, my local home brew shop. Getting tongue tied here, trying to get it done. It's kind of late. It's 8:30, and I've been up since six. But um, it's their version of pale ale extract, and it has noble hops in it as well. For dry hopping. So we'll get this in here. This has been sitting in the sink for probably about 40 minutes at least. So it's pretty runny. No idea how this is going to taste when it turns out, but you know what? This is fun. Because I needed to use the hops. And I really didn't want to use just plain old dextrose in a pale ale because then you've got a, a thin beer. Not saying it wouldn't be drinkable, but ordinary. That's a good way of explaining it. Actually, maybe I'll bring these over here. tea in there, we've got our pale mint, pale mint, pale ale, malt extract, and dark malt extract, and now we're going to put in 500 grams of dextrose, Let's boost this puppy right up. some water and uh, cool it down. Alright, here we go. So, what else has been going on? Well, hunting season. Uh, Hunter's been out with me a few times. We were out hunting. We uh, went down one day and we were actually not even settled in the blind and a doe come up. To say the least, we are in really bad shape and 
I missed her. But um, it's all right. That was early in the season. Been looking at my trail camera pictures. I get some pretty great ones, you know. I've got uh, a couple of bucks, you know, fighting right in front of the trail camera. There are lots of does coming around, and uh, that same doe still has been coming around that area. Then uh, one night, a little four point come out. Well, me and Hunter were down down there, and but he had no interest in stopping. He was just walking through. And, uh, and then one night, I was down there myself, and then a nice bike horn came in. Uh, but it was, I think I had 10 minutes left of legal light. So it was about 20 minutes after sunset. You're in deep woods, um, thick spruce trees. So any hunters out there, I'm sure you'll, you'll be able to relate how dark it actually is in the woods at that time of night. And uh, I thought a root was the bottom of his belly and I aimed for <laughs> a little higher than that. And well, he was gone. So either way, you know, I didn't harvest a deer, but wow, it has been a really exciting year for me. And um, I'm at my 23 liters of water. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna do a hydrometer reading and we'll see what my starting gravity is going to be so we'll be right back all right so looking at it um it's kind of foamy on the top so i can see the first two lines so i'm going to say 1054 that's going to be my starting gravity i'm kind of surprised it's actually that low but hey that's all right i wasn't shooting for like a 12 percent beer or anything but uh yeah, you can see there's some some hop, fine hop sediment that get in there through the bag, but it's all right. I'm going to give this a swig. Hmm. Well, wow. other than being super sweet, um, very similar to a red ale, and you get a little bit of the the cascade, but I should let it ferment out and age a little bit and then I'll actually get a real picture, but uh, at least I'm not going, Ugh. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. I'm going to pitch the yeast. And here's the nice ceramic towel that we put down there, early November. Alright, that is in. Lid on here. Get on it. Glad nobody's sleeping. Airlock. There we go. All right. So normally it's at this part where I'm getting ready to do the beer review and we're continuing on. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I haven't put out a video in a while. You guys are probably wonder what's going on. I figured I could uh, make some beer. Tell you what's been going on try something different and uh, see how it turns out so once the beer is done I'll probably leave it ferment for seven to ten days something like that depends on the schedule um, so it definitely won't be ready for this weekend I don't think Anywho, I digress um, I'm gonna bottle probably ten bottles and then I'm gonna keg the rest because um, my keg takes 20 liters of beer uh, just like the uh, the corny kegs, but I'm using the slim kegs, so they're 20 liters. Anywho, so uh, hope you're all having a great week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Everyone who just subscribed, thanks for subscribing, and uh, cheers to all my subscribers out there. Thanks for sticking around this long. I'm almost up to 4,000 subscribers now, so wow, thanks a lot, guys. Anyways, I gotta run, so catch you next time.